We are on a Great Reef census expedition with female scientists and we're exploring the northern parts of the Great Barrier Reef, collecting data from reefs that people haven't visited before or haven't visited in a long time. We have people in the water snorkeling and taking photos. We have drones up in the sky looking down to try and record sea cucumbers. And we've got cameras that we're dropping down to the sea floor to look for seagrass. The Great Reef Census, it's a massive collaborative effort and it's all about scaling up conservation, so both here on the Great Barrier Reef, but also reefs around the world. We partnered with James Cook University on this expedition and we really wanted to bring together a group of women with really diverse experiences and backgrounds uh, to share knowledge, but also to trial some new methods and innovations in how to monitor this massive ecosystem which is changing so quickly now under climate change. The Great Reef Census is really an approach in which everyone here on the Great Barrier Reef, as well as around the world, can really contribute information to fill gaps around our knowledge. We really want to start testing and piloting the innovations and the tech that's out there for us to do that at scale in future years. When we look at how we understand what's happening with the Great Barrier Reef over time and space, we use a range of different technologies. And quite often, if we want to look at the entire reef at once, we'll use satellites. And then we bring it all down into focus with people being in water. And then now we can start looking at, well, how do we get more drones as part of that? The reefs that we've been looking at as part of this Great Reef Census expedition have been varied in terms of their health. Some are looking spectacular. Others are smashed by cyclones, by recent major bleaching events, and others are starting to show really good signs of recovery. But it's really not enough time as of yet to say how that recovery is going. It's hugely important for scientists to collaborate with everyday people, tourism operators, and that's what the Great Reef Census is an excellent example of. It's people power and everybody can collect really important information to help us figure out what's happening on the Great Barrier Reef. I'm really driven to be part of Great Reef Census and working on the Great Barrier Reef because it is a spectacular ecosystem from the fish to the sea cucumbers to the seagrass. It all has to work together in that incredible complex nature that we're still learning about.